Oh yeah, I am. Mm, yeah. And we're going to be doing something creative this morning. And I know it doesn't look like you're going to be doing something creative because you've got a sheet of graph paper in front of you, which doesn't look very creative, does it? But, but it is, honestly. So, so my name's Stu, and that's Lawrence over there. Now then, today we're going to be looking at something that looks a little bit like a maze. Yes. Okay. But it's not a maze. Okay. And I'll tell you why it's not a maze. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna draw one quickly, okay? So I'd like you to all watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you again in a minute, all right? So don't worry if you kind of forget stuff, okay? But can you see there's a cross in the middle, yeah. and on each side of the cross, it's like one side of a square. Yeah. It's no longer than that, so it's kind of it's equal on all sides, yeah. And then in the very corners, oh look at that! How cute is that? It's got little dots in the corner. Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with that middle line and I'm going to make a little curve that goes and joins the dot on the right hand side. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. And then I'm going to take, then I'm going to go from that dot there and I'm going to do a nice curve that goes all the way around there and joins that line there. Cool. And then I've, ooh. Now it's starting to look interesting, isn't it? It's going to look like a snail. Snails. It's going to look like a snail. Snails. It does look a bit snaily, doesn't it? Now it's I'm going to take that line there and I'm going to do a curve that goes all the way around to the right it's and joins up with what? It's a wall. That, 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 ah, that dot there. Yeah, very good. It? It's a snail. Oh, there you go. Shell. And then yeah, I'm going to take that last dot there and I'm going to go all the way around. Well, where are you going to put that? To the middle. To the line. And that goes to the line. Awesome. Now look. Cool, that's amazing. Arrow, important arrow, that's where you get in. If you were an ant. Now, look, look what happens. It's yeah, you do. You go all the way around. So, if you watch my pencil, it's going all the way around. It's kind of like a circular. All piece. the way around. It is a circular. All the and way you're around. in the middle. The middle. And you now, have you, noticed, have you noticed something that can't happen to you? In this. Go anymore. And you can't you get lost. You can't get lost. You can't get lost. You, just go you can't get lost. All you do is now, go round and round and round. And when you get to the middle, you can walk back out. And all you have to do is follow your, your feet or your nose all the way around, and you're back out. Free! Hurrah! How good's that? <laughs> so this, although it looks like a maze, isn't actually a maze. It's called a labyrinth. Okay. Yeah. Like Who's heard of a labyrinth before? Is it like that mm. one of them games with the ball and you had to try and get on that? It is a little bit like oh. that. Yeah. I've played one of them. Okay. So that's a labyrinth. Now we're going to have a little go at drawing one. Okay. Wow. You guys are all going to produce your own labyrinth this morning. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of drawing. But then I'm hoping, as long as it's not absolutely hammering it down outside, we're going to go outside and we're going to make a big one. Somewhere in the middle of your paper. Okay, we're going to do that cross. Okay, so remember, it's got to be one square down, one square up, one square to the right, one square to the left. Yeah? So have a look at mine. Go in the corner, so it's almost like that cross is hiding inside a little square. Yeah? Does that make sense? So make sure those dots go in the right place and make sure they're nice and clear so that you can see them. All right, if they're not clear, uh -oh, it's it easy wrong. to make mistakes. Uh -oh. So if everybody went... Thank you. Pencil at the top of the cross. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to... And it stops at the dot, it doesn't go any further than the dot, it stops right there. Excellent, so if you could all hold those up. Brilliant, okay, next bit. So, we're now going to go to the dot that's on the and joins up with that middle line of the cross, okay? So start off on the dot, take it right up round to the right. Yeah, lovely. Yep, yeah, good. Yep, good. Yeah, good. Like that? Yep. It's like making a shell. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, there were a couple of people mentioned snails earlier on, Mr. Neeson. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, brilliant. Okay. How about this? To the next bit? Yeah. yeah. Good. All the way up. Trying to leave a nice space between the, the new line that you're drawing and the line that you made before. And it's going to go up all the way round okay. and come and join that dot down this at the one? bottom. This one? The right yeah, hand. Yeah, great. Is that 
That's good. That's good. Lovely. All the way around to that dot just there. Brilliant. Okay. Start on that last dot and you're going to go all the way around, up over those other lines that you drew, all the way back round down to the bottom and you are going to join it up with that bottom line of the cross. I've done mine okay. big. No, that's fine, it's good. It's good. Remember, this is your first one, so this is a practice, isn't it? Let's have a look. Brilliant. What you should be able to do, I want you to test this out now and see if it works. So take your pencil and you're going you're gonna to walk your pencil into the maze, maybe with a little dotted line, okay, just faintly, and walk it all the way around. Ah, the tip tap of the pencil. <laughs> so walk it all the way around. <laughs> As if it didn't sound like raining enough outside. Yeah. Now you it. should find that your line will make it all the way into the middle without getting lost. If it does, and you can make it, all, make it come all the way back out to the outside again, then your labyrinth is a very successful it labyrinth it indeed. It did it! Yes, it did it! Yeah. So I have to do the dots. Don't do the dots yet. I'm glad you think. I can't see Marvellous, brilliant. We all done? You will be doing it on each side in a moment, but I want you just to do one for the moment. Good. Good. Go in. It's almost like a mirror image on the other side, so it's the whole thing is going to be symmetrical. So you're doing the opposite, the other way round. Okay. Fantastic. Give you a little few seconds to do that. Brilliant. Is that right? Okay. So it goes round to the right and joins up with the top of that L. Yeah. This right. While you're drawing that curve, is try and think, I want to keep that gap between the lines as even as I can so it doesn't get too small and thin. Yeah? Magic. Yeah. Join up with that part of that L, okay? So it's not joining up with the cross, it's joining up with the L now. So from that dot all the way around, it's joining up with the L. Me nose, <laughs> Is this yeah, right? Yes. yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yes. Okay. Let's have a look. Well done, James. That's good. So you're going to start off with the middle of the cross on your left. Mm -hmm. Okay, come all the way around. I'm just going to join up with which bit? Upside the upside down, down L. It's going to join up with the side of that upside down L. You're quite right. I thought that right. Okay, yeah, that's good. What you're going to find quite soon that you'll start running out of space. Yeah. So you'll have to just try and keep your lines not right next to each other, but leave a little bit of space. Line. I think maybe your paper ended up getting turned around or something. But that's all right, don't worry about that. We'll make that one work. It'll be good. Okay, next bit. That's good news. Can you get lost in this? Can you get lost in this? Well, we'll yeah. see in a minute. Have okay, so the next bit, we're almost there now, guys. Shoot, not to the middle of the cross, it's to the bottom of that upside down L. Okay? So the bottom of the upside down L. Don't make it go across to that middle of the cross bit. That's good. I think try and get through this. Outfit. Let's have a look now. Just look at it, oh, look at it so and try and get to through it. Yeah, well, don't even like get in it. That needs to. All you've done there, just join it out. That needs to come around. Well, you'll right. test it in a minute to see when you're. Like that. So it's imagine right. that line's not there. So it's the, it's the bottom It's the bottom of that upside down L. It's going to go all the way around. Keeping that hand steady. the bottom of the cross. To the bottom of the cross. Magic. And if you've done it with a steady hand and a good eye, you should find that it looks like your labyrinth has an entrance. Does it? Yeah, yeah but it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah my does. You do. Now then, if you've, if you've managed to draw that, yeah. take your pencil for a little walk. 
actually know where to go. Good. 